I don't think it's that big a deal. It just locked up on him and when he woke up, just slept on it a little, a little weird. So he got he got worked on today, um, and just you know obviously didn't want to force anything today. So uh, hopeful he can be in there tomorrow, but you know we'll just see. As, as long as that stiffness gets out of there, we gotta wait and see. I don't I don't expect it to be a long term thing. Do you anticipate little things like this popping up throughout the rest of summer camp just because guys are trying to ramp up relatively quickly? I mean, that's, that's, you know, that's part of the reason why. Um, and, and I think, I think in the case of Aaron, I think that's a, you know, slept on it funny. I think that can happen in the middle of the season in the off season, whenever. So, but yes, the little things that can come up. I mean, that's why you're kind of trying to strike that balance between, you know, understanding that we have a shorter amount of time and the urgency involved, but to also make sure we're as best we can building these guys up safely and putting them in situations that they're ready to handle. By and large, I feel like our guys are in good shape. Um, now it's just building innings and getting them in that game shape. Did you feel as though hitters were starting to catch up a little bit today? Yeah, I thought I thought by and large we saw um, some some better at bats, some get more guys on pitches. Um, some balls, a few ball, handful of balls hit pretty well. Um, so yeah, I feel, felt like today, uh, the hitters were a little more up to speed probably. Who else has a question? Brendan, go ahead and unmute. Aaron, you pull aside some of the guys on the third baseline today for for a talk could you tell us what you what you were going over there what, what was what that was oh about? um it just having a, a conversation with a number of of different groups today uh and and picking my spots where i can i can do it in in obviously smaller groups but but just you know when i would normally address the team as a whole um, you know, I, I, I did that about three or four different times with different groups of people. So that's where I got that group. Gotcha. And, and is that just the overall team message? Are you talking about health and safety protocols? A little, a little everything there that I've just wanted to get a few points across. And last question, do you know when you'll be opening up the Scranton uh, location? And sending guys there? Yeah, it's it's getting prepared. Um, not sure exactly the day. Um, what are we, about the 11th? With the 11th today? You know, probably yeah. sometime in the next week, uh, it, it'll be up and running. Let's take the next question from uh, Max Goodman. Max, go ahead and unmute. Hey, Aaron. Hey. Thanks for taking the time. Yeah. What was the plan or what was the story behind the five man infield? Was that spur of the moment with, with Brit out there or was that something you guys are working on? It's it's a Britain thing. It's something that we've been very close to using. Actually we almost used it in the game last year. Um it's something, you know, it's our our Zach Britton package. If we have the right if we have the right uh personnel out there and obviously with Wader in the outfield today, um you know, we'll if it's the right matchup, we we probably wouldn't hesitate to go with that five man in, in the right situation. Um, I, we'd be willing to do it with Aaron Hicks. Aaron Hicks has worked um, worked on it quite a bit, but last year with him being out a lot, some of the outfield alignment situations didn't lend itself to that being possible. So if we have the right grouping out there and the right matchup at the plate, it is something that we would consider using. And you saw the smile on Aaron Boone's face. At